In the fall of 2010, longtime Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daley made a surprise announcement. But today I'm announcing that we'll not seek a seventh term as mayor of the city of Chicago. Meanwhile, the popularity of Foursquare continued to grow. On Foursquare, people check into real world places, and whoever checks into a place the most becomes the mayor of that location. Chicago needs a real life mayor, and everyone's trying to become a mayor on Foursquare. Perhaps there's an opportunity for mayoral candidates to appeal to young voters by showing a little social media savviness. Introducing the Foursquarean candidate, where you can become mayor, then become mayor. The rules for Foursquarean candidate were simple. Whoever had the most check-ins to the designated mayoral headquarters on Foursquare would become the Foursquarean candidate and would win free publicity as well as campaign materials from a well-regarded digital agency. The Foursquarean candidate was a hit on and offline. The site received thousands of check-ins and some participants changed their profile pics to appear more mayor-like. Mashable said, the idea of a Foursquare mayor taking a shot at becoming the real one is both surprising and amusing, and Technorati claimed the idea is an incredible transformation of our political reality. Foursquarean Candidate was covered by morning shows, midday podcasts, and evening news. And do you think you'd make a good mayor of Chicago? If so, it's time to hit up Foursquare. The idea was lauded on Twitter, even by the Foursquare co-founder himself, and the international press said, well, it appears people everywhere liked it. On the last weekend of the contest, the leading candidates checked in an average of every three minutes, 24 hours a day. So how did the Foursquarean candidate affect the actual Chicago mayoral election? Well, Chicago's frontrunner was kicked off the ballot. A state appellate court has ruled his name cannot be on the ballot. Only to be allowed back in the race. The Illinois Supreme Court has just ruled in favor of Rahm Emanuel, allowing him to run for mayor of Chicago. And the second place candidate called another candidate a crack addict. Patricia, the reason you didn't know where I was for the last 20 years, because you were strung out on crack. It just goes to show, even a smart social media idea can't change a city's politics overnight.